Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do for the Samsung Galaxy S25. And the first thing I recommend to you is to register your Samsung account here because this gives you many services like the complete Galaxy AI for free. Let me show you how you can do it. So just scroll down here below the battery symbol and you're at the control center and the part of the control center is here always the symbol for the settings. And here on top you can register your Samsung account or log in with your Samsung account. I have done it already, so it's pretty easy, just follow the instructions. And this allows you to use all the Galaxy AI features as I've told you, uh, like the audio eraser and so on. And as well the secure folder to have a second space or Samsung find if you're losing your phone. Um, the um, yeah, your phone can be uh, found uh, even if it's uh, offline. Uh, so pretty nice. It's detected by other Samsung smartphones. So a pretty, pretty nice mode. And the next feature I want to show you is uh, to improve the audio quality. Uh, so that you can squeeze out the maximum here at the phone that you are having the best sound. And for that, just uh, scroll down here again, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go to sounds and vibration. And if you scroll down a bit, you will find the point sound quality and effects. And I recommend to you to enable now the first point here, Dolby Atmos, and as well this point here, loudness normalization. Because sometimes if you're watching something, it's getting too loud, and sometimes it's uh, too, um, yeah, it's not that loud. And here you can choose a medium way, uh, what is pretty nice. So the phone detects it, uh, detect it by it's on so a pretty nice tool the next feature i want to show you is for your battery lifespan so if you want to have a long life uh, for the battery here at the phone then you should check that the charging level is always between 20 percent at a maximum 85 percent if it's under 20 percent of course you will charge your phone but uh, sometimes it's difficult to stop it at 85 percent uh, because if you charge it overnight hmm. uh, but you can do it automatically. Let me show you a bit more about. So just uh, scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings, go down to the point battery, and you will find the point battery protection. Uh, actually, it's on basic, what is not that bad, but if you want to squeeze out the maximum, tap you on maximum because the charging level would be uh, at maximum then 80%. So it stops automatically. Of course, at the beginning, uh, other users are having more battery power for the first year, maybe. But after, you are the one who have the stronger battery right? because the lifespan is extended. So that's pretty, pretty nice and important. The next feature I'll recommend to you is to make the phone a bit faster. Because always if you open apps or here the gallery, there's a little animation and it zooms out and it zooms in. You can see it also at Snapchat, at WhatsApp and so on. At all the apps, you will have a little animation and you can reduce this animation to make the phone a bit quicker. Let me show you more about. So just scroll down here, tap down here on the symbol for the settings. Scroll down now to the point accessibility. <laughs> here it is. Tap down here on the point vision enhancements. And a bit below, you will find the point reduce animations. Okay. If I open the gallery now, it's immediately there, no? and Snapchat, everything is immediately there. Let me turn it off now, that you can see the differences again, and you'll see how slow it was, isn't it? And if you disable these animations by enabling your reduce animations, then it's pretty fast and your phone um, yeah, feels much quicker. And if you want, you can clone apps here with the phone. So that means if you're having more than one Facebook account, you don't need to switch within one app. Uh, you can just create a second app for it. Or you can use uh, two WhatsApp apps. Uh, why not? You can insert two SIM cards. Why not having one WhatsApp for each number? Let me show you a bit more about. So just scroll down here, tap you on the SIM before the settings. Then you need to go to the point advanced features. And you will find the point dual messenger. So in this service, as the name says already, allows you to clone messaging services like WhatsApp. Uh, let me tap here to enable it. Go down here on install. Tap here on confirm. 
So now you can uh, enable as well a uh, separate contact list, no, but usually you don't need it. Go on next, and tap on OK, no, because you can create later um, as well a separate contact list right here no, at any time. So then let's enable with Snapchat here as well, and also Facebook and the Messenger as well. So pretty easy as you can see. No? But how to uh, recognize the second apps? Um, let's check at the ad door. So this is my main WhatsApp account. This is my second one. This is my main Facebook, my second one, my main Snapchat, my second one. And as you can see, um, the cloned app have always here a blue mark here at the corner. And this is how you can recognize it. So a pretty nice tool, especially if you have many accounts. The next feature I want to show you is for our eyes because we are all using our smartphone too often. And yeah, this is giving our eyes a lot of stress. But there's a way to reduce that stress. Let me show you how. For that, just scroll down here so that we're here at the control center. And now you can also scroll down here these shortcuts again to have much more. And one of the new icons then is the eye comfort shield. If you tap on it, you will enable a blue light filter. And as you can see, the screen is turning into a yellow touch or with a yellow touch. No? And uh, I recommend to you now to long press here the eye comfort shield symbol because then you are here at the settings of it. And um, yeah, I recommend to you to customize it because then you can change the color temperature to a maximum because uh, as um, warmer the color temperature is, as better it is for your eyes. Of course, at the beginning, it is a bit unusual maybe for your eyes because you're having this yellow touch, um, but your eyes will say thank you. If you don't like it and cannot be friend with, then I recommend to you to put it here on adaptive because uh, then during the day, it's not that strong, but in the evening or at the night, it's a bit stronger because it's protecting your eyes uh, and also gives you a better sleep. So you should really try it out, this feature, and I really recommend to you to use it. No? Adaptive, if you don't like it, to have it on a day and custom if it's okay for you at the day because your eyes will say thank you for that. Then up for evening and night, uh, if everything is dark around you and you have a very bright screen, it's also not that comfortable for your eyes. I think you know what I mean. Huh? And for that, you can enable it dark mode. Let me show you how. So just scroll down here and then you have here the moon symbol. Just tap it and you have enabled a dark theme. Uh, this is very eye friendly at the night and at the evening hours. And by the way, it saves also a lot of energy. But it's only good for the night and the evening hours uh, because in the day, at the daytime, uh, the light screen is better, the contrast is better for the eyes. Uh, so in the daytime, you should use the regular screen. And that you don't have to turn it on and off by your own, this dark scene feature. You can just long press the moon symbol here. Then you're here the settings as well. And now turn it on as chat shield. Uh, then it will turn on if the sun set and if the rise, sun rises, it will turn off automatically. Pretty nice. What you have just seen, these are routines to turn it on and off automatically. Uh, and you can use these routines also for other situations. Maybe like if you're watching Netflix or YouTube, you watch it usually, usually in uh, landscape mode and you can open these apps directly in landscape mode. And this is nice because especially if you lay down, sometimes it's switching between portrait and landscape mode. No? But you can really open these apps only in landscape mode and then, um, yeah, it's much more comfortable. And if you leave that app, you're back in the regular mode, no? portrait and landscape maybe then. Let me show you a bit more about before I talk too much. So just scroll down here uh, below the, the battery symbol, tap down here on the symbol for the settings. And then you need to scroll down to the point modes and routines. Okay, then just tap here on discover and you will see here many options what you can do, uh, many examples. Uh, and if you want to set up routines, just tap your on routine and go down here on the plus symbol. And now you can create something like if no, add a routine will uh, add what will trigger this routine. So, and let's keep going on with our example. So that if we open uh, YouTube, uh, 
and yeah, maybe Netflix here as well. Tap down here on done. So what should happen then? No. So we want to have it no, in landscape mode. Okay, tap then you on done. And I can give it a name and so on. Tap then on save and done. Okay, now we will have this routine. It's just an example. And uh, now let me show you. If I open YouTube, it will automatically open in landscape mode. However, I will turn the screen. It's only in landscape mode. And for Netflix, it's perfect. Yeah? And if I go out here of this app, I will go back always here to portrait mode again. So a pretty nice mode. And as I've said here at the routines, you have fear the point discover and you can check many examples and you have so many opportunities um, like also that uh, if you're reading an ebook, no? if you open special apps for ebooks, you can um, yeah, set it up that the uh, blue light filter will be automatically enabled. This is good for your eyes then, no? if you read a lot. Um, and so much uh, things you can do with. So you should really check it out. And the next video I want to show you is if you're watching a lot of uh, media content on the phone because you can increase the brightness automatically for these kind of videos. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings, then go down to the point advanced features. And here you need to check out the point video brightness. Actually, it's on normal. And if you tap it here on bright, all these apps below, if you open them, they will have then a brighter screen, pretty nice for movies on Netflix or on Prime Video and so on. And you can even disable them if you don't want to have the too bright because a brighter screen is taking more energy here of the battery, but it's not that bad. And if you close these apps, they're back to the regular uh, screen light, so the, to the normal one. No? A pretty nice mode if you're watching a lot of media content. Yeah, we're almost at the end of the video and I want to show you now this little sidebar here. Almost invisible, you can easily swipe it out and you're having quick access to some AI features and some favorite apps. Uh, if you want, you can also edit these apps here below by just tapping on the pen here and maybe removing then you make the gallery and adding WhatsApp. Just an example, if you're ready with, just tap on the home button and I will swipe out now the sidebar you will have now your apps. Yeah, pretty nice. And what I recommend to you as well is because you use the phone usually with one hand and swipe it out easily, that you choose the best position for the sidebar. So just long press it here at the side and then you can switch it to a lower side or you can switch it a bit more up or you can switch it as well on the other side if you're left-handed. Pretty nice. So find the best position for the sidebar and yeah, so a pretty nice mode. I hope I could help you with this video and show you here nice tips and tricks and give you a good setup. Uh, maybe if I forgot something, you can leave it in the comments if you want. So some life, nice words <laughs> would be also pretty, pretty nice. Uh, thank you so, so much for all the thumbs up. Thank you so, so much for guys. And uh, yeah, uh, if you want, you can check out also one of my other videos if you're interested in with some more tips and tricks and so on. You can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for your support and Sure. Maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.